Hello and welcome back to tutorial series of Python design patterns. In last video we talked about proxy design pattern with examples. Now in this video I am going to talk about another structural design pattern and the name of that pattern is facade design pattern. So let's go and understand what is facade design pattern. Basically it's a structural design pattern as proxy design pattern and this design pattern provides easy and beautiful interface for lots of complicated classes, functions and many more things implemented in the system. So to understand this pattern, we should divide the process into three following parts. One, facade, second system and third client. So what is system? So basically system includes multiple system classes. Uh, which which are implemented for the specific purposes so as you can see in this image this s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 these are system class system libraries or system functions you can say so which has their own uh, separate purposes right it can be a user service it can be a email service or it can be a uh, order service anything right and this facade is the interface which unifies the access of all the system classes in in a one place and it will be a very uh, easy and very helpful to the client so that is why this facade is required in some cases where you want to uh, where you uh, want to provide a beautiful interface and you have implemented very complex systems and which is very hard to access by client in that case you will need facade right so client is going to use the facade class right so facade is a intermediate thing which will be useful for the client okay now next thing is that what is the example I can give you so you can understand so I have uh, one example that is Facebook SDK it's a SDK for Facebook APIs which you can use in your project and you can integrate Facebook APIs through this Facebook SDK library which provides the Pythonic way to access all the APIs. So basically this SDK is not there in case of that you'll have to use the maybe request library or URL lib library to uh, access that URL you have to give uh, parameters you have to accept the response and then pass and everything right but that is a complicated process and in each and every api we have to do that and in that case facebook uh, facebook understands that we have to have one facade kind of interface so they built a facebook sdk so you can use that in your project so you 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 are understand right so the Facebook SDK is one kind of facade design pattern. Now let's write a program uh, which demonstrates the facade design pattern. So here it is. So first let me show you the system classes. So there are three system classes I have implemented here that is cutter, boiler and fryer. So this example looks like in a uh, restaurant where there are three processes are going on in the back end which is cutter, boiler and fryer. So whenever you have to uh, prepare a dish, let's suppose you want to prepare a dish and uh, restaurant uh, wants to provide all these three system classes, maybe these three processes you can do on your own. So what you have to do, you have to uh, cut your uh, cut the vegetables yourself, then you have to boil them and then you have to fry after that, right? So this is the three uh, step uh, to build a, or prepare a dish which might be complicated, which might be hard or difficult to uh, do that, right? So in that case, what, what restaurant does? Restaurant provides a facade class, which is called a cook. So you just need to instantiate cook and ask him to prepare a dish. Now that cook does, uh, does know everything what, what to do and he is trained for that, right? And that is how it is built. So he will prepare the dish and will return the dish so here uh, you are using the facade class right 
you have this instantiated cook and then cook dot prepare dish so this is how easy it is to prepare a dish but if you do not have this prepare dish class then what happens you have to instantiate three dishes you have to provide uh, whatever vegetables are cut to boiler class and then same thing the same uh, vegetables you have to provide to the fryer as well so these are complicated process to prepare a dish so that's why facade class is very useful now let's understand the benefits of that right so facade class what does it collects all the system classes methods and provide requirement and uh, uh, provided all the properties and everything uh, from the system and then it will uh, provide a meaningful APIs or you can say meaningful class or functions uh, to access by client with the minimum call you can look at this in example right we just called one function only and it did three functions automatically behind the scene right so this is what we want uh, this is what the benefit you can get from this kind of pattern so and another thing is that whatever the prepared is function will not change even though this boiled vegetables system have a change so let's suppose you want to change something in the boiled vegetables right this system class itself you want to uh, re-ramp so once you re-ramp uh, re this uh, boiler class and in that case what will happen just you need to change into the prepared is class prepared is function and which will not be changed uh, anyway so client doesn't need to change anything else here so in that case facade, uh, facade pattern is also useful so right so and the only one point i would like to mention here that is there is another similar pattern you will face that is mediator pattern which is very similar to facade pattern but here if you can see that cutter class or boiler class doesn't need to do or doesn't need to bother about uh, this cook class what cook class does cutter boiler those class doesn't know about this right but in the mediator class if this class is mediator then this system class also knows what this mediator class does so that is the only single difference you will face in the mediator pattern and facade design pattern okay so that's it from this video i hope you understand facade, uh, facade design pattern well and be able to use in your current or future project wherever you feel the need of this so thanks for watching and we'll see you soon in next video with another design pattern thank you